Coon and friends. So far, I'm two for two for tonight. I won with Balin and I won with uh, Galarb. A budget list under 100. The goal of the deck is to turn all your enchantments and your artifacts into 4-4s four to deal damage and draw cards. The only caveat is that the CMC of those also have to be four or greater. That seems to be like a theme of the Bloomboro set. So this is also has a very atrocious mana curve. <laughs> Ironically, it's actually lower than my Glarb list. What I really like about this is you get to play all the big, dumb, expensive rocks and animate them because they get haste and indestructible from Bello as well. Originally, I was gonna do a artifacts list, but I stumbled onto something cooler and I've done a bunch of artifacts lists very recently. So I'm kind of a little sick and tired of playing Affinity. I ain't play. going back. To be honest, I wanted to do something a little fresh and new. I'm playing a bunch of stacks enchantments and artifacts this time around. The issue with like stack scars is typically they don't do anything on the board other than they are a preventative measure. Bellow turns them into four fours to beat people down with. So that's a little bit more useful and more board impactful. And I'm just gonna go over the cards one by one, things that are unique and cool. Um, not gonna talk about removal, card advantage, or ramp. It's just the same in every deck. Goblin and Archomancer. Each red and green spell costs one less. It's as close as I could get to a universal coupon. Outcaster Trailblazer. What's cool about Bello is it's a static effect. During your turn, your stuff enters as creatures. So you'll cause Outcaster Trailblazer to trigger and you'll draw a card. Same with Garuk's Uprising. <laughs> now, what's very concerning is there's only three creatures in this entire list. <laughs> So you're going to be very vulnerable to crackbacks, but I built this list with a plan, and that's Turbo Fog. I'm running eight fogs in this list to hopefully limp my way towards the end game to close the game out. I'm going to use my stacks pieces to prevent people from playing the game, and then I'm going to prevent myself from dying uh, in a very kind of edgelord fashion. <laughs> there are also a lot of board wipes in this list, which works nicely with Bellow. Unfortunately, Bellow will get caught up in them, but you won't destroy your own stacks pieces because they'll be indestructible from Bellow. Shamanic Revelation. There are not a lot of good life gain cards out there, unfortunately. My options with my budget were a bunch of equipment. I just threw this in here because it's great. I gain four life per creature with power four or greater, and I draw a bunch of cards off of it. What's more to ask for, am I right? This is also an extra combat list deck. I am running as many budget-friendly extra combat spells as I can. Hopefully that means I deny people turns to play the game and I get to draw more cards. Terminate that Batman with extreme prejudice! Rilla's Assault, another extra combat spell. A lot of my instants are the uh, the fogs, like Lull, Blessed Respite, Fog, Regular Respite. <laughs> <laughs> Winzika Sama, a terrifying presence is one too. Root Snare is another fog effect. I think among these, my favorite one is probably Respite because I get to gain a bunch of life too from it. <laughs> Not only do I get to prevent a bunch of damage, I also get to net something from it as well. Great Train Heist for extra combat, Savage Beating is also extra combat, only this one's a lot better because it has Entwine, I can give all my stuff double strike, meaning I could close up the game and then get double the draw triggers, show my stuff connect. And it's an instant, so you could do a nice little <laughs> and kill them. Big Bad Galleon, um, vehicles also lend themselves nicely to this commander because they don't care how they become creatures. I am running Sky Sovereign console flagship. It's nice in that I'll be bolting something on ETB and then bolting on attack because it'll have haste. It's just an effective removal spell at that point. Normally I'd never play console flagship, but since I get two on the front end, I am quite happy to play it. God Pharaoh Statue, this is one of your first stacks pieces. Makes your opponent's spells cost two more to play. Hell Awakening, this is a universal coupon. It makes all your spells cost one less, but unfortunately comes at the cost of reducing the cost of your opponent's stuff as well. Hopefully you get a better use out of it because you're splitting yourself between two different permanent types with this list. But some meek stone is kind of unique to talk about. It's functionally useful for drawing cards or as a removal piece. I like the flexibility of it. Abundance, once we get the train going and drawing a bunch of cards, I want to be just drawing more gas. Abundance will help us get there. Sunbird's Invocation, this lets me 
cast multiple spells a turn, hopefully. It lets me go the top X cards, where X is the CMC. So, like, if I cast them, they cost four. I only look four cards deep, and then I get to cast something that's four or less. Or Storm Surge. Whenever a creature control enters, I deal damage equal to target any creature. Again, when my enchantments and artifacts come into play, they'll be creatures, and it will actually see this trigger. Even War Storm itself will see itself, and I'll do four damage or something. It's a pretty fun, uh, recurrable single target removal. Aether Flash should deal with the uh, low of the ground decks. Berserker's Onslaught, more kill potential because all my stuff double strike. Gratuitous Violence to deal a bunch of extra damage. Primal Order to punish people playing a lot of uh, non-basic lands. The beginning of upkeep does one damage for each non-basic he or she controls. Nature's Will because I'm running a combo with Aggravated Assault. If one of my things should connect, I get to untap all my lands and I can pump it back into my aggravated assault or use that mana to cast more things from the cards I draw off those creatures. It's a pretty brutal enchantment. Burning Earth, again, punishing people with a lot of non-basics in their deck. Bear Ember for the combo. Mana Reflection, double my mana production. Same with Virtuous Strength, I have a lot of basics and I've been looking for an excuse to play this card most of the virtues for that matter i think this will be the first time i get to play it normally this gets cut in the end but i'm excited to play it here triple my damage stranglehold to deny extra turns and searching libraries so you get nothing guardian project because uh my stuff enters as creatures same application of outcaster trailblazer Garus uprising and war storm search i will be drawing off my artifacts and my enchantments <laughs> All right, that's the list. I'm going to see how it plays.